So let's kick these guys out of the party. And we'll bring in Norris once more because without Norris, I can't actually leave the manor. Yeah, I know. It's weird, but that is how it works. All right, so Norris and Lucia, who is now important. So, Lucia, let's see if we can't find something nice for you. Uh, this will require us going into the sewers once more. Uh, specifically through the kitchen. We have to go through that grate in order for this to work because of the current, if you remember correctly. And we spent a lot of time opening up those sewer access things. We might as well use it to the best of our ability. So let's head down and head into the kitchen here. I believe it's here. There it is. All right, head down the grate. Yes. Why would I say no at this point? All right, let's head over to the right here. We're going to have to take this guy on. We just have to. Let's see if I can't show off a level seven tech along the way though. We do have Surges still to show off. He's the only one that's properly equipped, although I'm sure Norris can still do quite a bit of damage without anything on him. Especially since these guys go for nimble. Remember how late in the game it was that we came here. So don't be surprised if these guys are actually quite difficult. All right, down goes the first one. We'll have Norris do at least a little bit of work here. Yeah, he's still pretty damn strong, even when he's not properly equipped with accessories and things like that. And don't we need to show off uh, Norris's level seven as well? I'm not sure we showed that off. All right, Serge, you're up though. We're gonna show yours off first here. Get yours out of the way. We have flying arrow. Focus energy on swallow and hurl yourself at foe. Uh, pay attention to the background here. It is important because I have the Master Mune equipped. Just something to keep in mind. Fly an arrow. Kill the spe spear fisher here. Six hundred and forty-three, and he wasn't even weak to it. Yeah, that's pretty damn strong, but. In the background, we had the spirit of the Masamune from Chrono Trigger. I believe, like, the second form? Right? Weren't they separate and then they joined and then they became that form? Yeah, because we have the Master Mune equipped. If we had something else equipped, it would just be a, a ghostly image of Surge himself. Remember this thing? And I said, hey, isn't that a little weird? It was weird. Wonderful. This must be a new type of amoeba. But life force. I must incubate it right away. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And we have received Lucia's test amoeba. And they had to misspell amoeba because I don't think it fit with that O in there. And I know that there's an O in it because when I was in high school, I had a football coach uh, teaching me biology. And he kept on saying amoeba drove me nuts. Because I, of course, knew what the word was. All right, test amoeba. Level seven plus or minus zero. Hits a single foe. Let foe be a test host for new parasitic amoeba. No, they misspelled it there too. There's an O. A-M-O-E-B-A. Trust me, that's how it's spelled. <laughs> Had to learn biology the hard way when I was in high school. All right, that is equipped. Once again, we'll show that off at some point. Now, I have to actually think of how I get out of here. Isn't it just, uh, just left? I think it's just left. I actually want to avoid this guy this time. No need to fight him. We have shown off Surge's level seven tech. No need to show off anything more. 
All right, let's get out of here. Once again, no, what? Oh, went, almost went down the stairs again. Uh, once again, you do need Norris, otherwise they will not let you out. So, Norris, he's good for something finally. I joke, he was so useful for so long. <laughs> he was the best attacker in my party. And if I give him uh, whatever the rainbow gun is, he might be the best attacker in my party again. Commander, will you be leaving? Yes, I will. And that will require me taking like 10 steps backwards. Just let me out. We are ready to go. And we are going to need somebody else in our party for our next destination. I will meet you there. Back outside our hometown of Arnie Village. I have brought Glenn and Mojo along because we haven't really seen Glenn for a while. We got him the Einlander, but I do want to show that off. Mojo is important. Let's head to Arnie Village. And we need to go to the basement where we found Mojo. Once again, this place is empty. Just completely empty. Let's head down here where we can find the cats. All right, do you have anything to say before I do this? You heard of a divine message? To give your prayers to the three spirits. Actually, I bought these three idols bundled with Mojo for a really good price. I think the merchant also said something about telling the idols you about most precious thing in your life. Telling the idols about most precious thing in your life. Yeah, they just wrote it wrong. Why don't you give your prayers to the three idols too, along with Mojo? That is a good idea. Uh, remember, though, we want to do it in order. So, you felt a beam of light from Lazery the Cat. Not... But Lasery is first. Then we will go over to the right here. If I could get it to trigger properly. There we go. You felt an aura of longevity from Ori the cat. Not. I did see something though, because we are doing this in order. And then finally, I have to be very careful here. There we go. You received a sacred Lickaroo from Licky the cat. Not. Oh, it's lick -a tongue But as a result of this, money, life, love, what's more precious? A lucky charm that brings forth love? A lucky doll? Now I have to think about what voice I gave Mojo. Didn't I give him like a voodoo voice? It's just an outright lie about be me being a lucky charm. I came home to this world as a means of placing a curse on people. I'm all about anger and hate. I don't bring them happiness at all. I'm just a malicious, unlucky straw doll. I got them this feeling in my heart when my senses started to awaken them. I simply stood them here, pondering and pondering. If I came them to this world just to place them curses on people, then I wish I hadn't been born them at all. But something inside me get, began to stir them. That was when I first met them you, Serge em. And as I traveled them alongside you, I got to thinking. I feel I'm very fortunate to be born them in this age. Because I was able to meet up them with all of you. Now I realize that no matter what the reason for being alive, I'm really glad I was born them into this world. Thanks um, Serge um. I'm not a lucky doll. I'm um, just an ugly straw doll, but still, I'm um, very happy. And Mojo has changed for the better. Just a little bit. But Mojo has learned Hoodoo Guru. And that's possibly one of the most important things about all this. Serge, um, I'm really glad I met um, you. And? No? 
Yeah, I was about to say that he changed his name. I thought it was more official than that, but he becomes Mo Joy, as you can see. His name's no longer Mo Jo. It was Mo Joy. Maybe I missed it in the little description thing there, but uh, he definitely changed his name as a result of what we just did. So let's go ahead and put uh, that first. I have been equipping people. We are going to be using Glenn here. And we have Hoodoo Guru. Level 7 plus or minus 0. Hits a single foe. Lift up foe with nail. Then drop while spinning. Because he is all about that joy. <laughs> Once again, we will show that off regrettably at some point. But we will show it off. Alright. Let's get out of here. We have another location to go to. So that we can find more stuff. Uh, this stuff not necessarily as important, I will say. But it will require a party change because I refuse to bring Mo Joey along. Or Mojo. Mojo, Mo, Mo Joy. Either way, he's not coming. Outside the Hydra Marshes in another world, I have one of the great parties with me here. We have Surge, Glenn, and Orlha. I do want to show off Glenn and Orlha. Now that Glenn does have dual wielding Iron Lancers, a couple things have changed for him, so I want to show that off. Plus, Orlha is entirely new. Plus, she's not bad. She is no slouch. So we will show her off as we head through the Hydra Marshes in another world, because we are technically going to head to a new area. Even though we have been there before, we have not been there before in another world. We've only been there in Homeworld. So we will head out. We have so many party members. Uh, speaking of really good party members though, it's probably about time to start opening up votes for the final party. We are headed over here so that we can uh, play the Biba flute for the record and get back to Gaia's navel which technically we have not been to here. So let me just briefly go over, I guess, minor spoilers here. We're gonna talk about how the final boss fight kind of happens. Uh, there is going to be a final boss and I'm not gonna to give too much away, but I'll give away a little bit of the mechanics. We can bring three people and one of those people has to be Surge as we make it to Gaia's name. So even though I have access to about 40 characters, I need two names for the final party. At least the first final party. I'll try to implement as many uh, final parties as I can because there are definitely a ton of uh, multiple endings, endings for this game. And I'll be showing all of them off. Uh, but s th right now we're talking about the first main final party as we head over here and get you guessed it, Donatorite. Any shock that that's going to be pretty much all we get here? 